Hi. It's me again. You know, I was dreading this day. I never really thought it would come. But here we are. I'm quitting YouTube. I. I'm quitting. For now, at least. My voice is still touchy, vulnerable, and I've gone to EMTs, urgent care, emergency for things, and they all say, just takes time. And because of the way my body is structured, it might never come back. It feels like I have to choose between being a YouTuber, which is my passion. It's what I love. Also, I got a standing desk so I can hop around. Anyway, it's between that and just living my life. It's always taking a toll on my voice on my throat. During the pandemic, that was acceptable because I didn't really see people. So I made a bunch of videos. But now that I have to socialize, network for my career, talk to friends, family, my partner, my roommates, new house, Again, which is much better, but I can't choose one hobby over everything. I just can't. When I say that I'm quitting, it doesn't mean that I'm stopping YouTube. Video essays may still happen, but it's gonna be time to time, if at all, just whenever I kind of can. I've always kind of been stealing time out of school and work for YouTube and now it's just gonna be a purely passion focused thing it's not gonna be something I'm trying to make into a career at least for now until my voice is better until I have more time whatever in the meantime I hope to make kind of reflection videos on Rolaren as a channel for the two or three people who care and myself but also I plan to do a devilog we'll see how that goes but I'm currently making a text based adventure game which is very exciting for my first game I plan to make like a classic RPG and onward all story focused because that's my thing as a writer but for now that's what I'm going with vlogs in general seem really fun not like daily vlogs but more writer career focused stuff every once in a while stuff that I can do quick like this without talking too much with a video essay, I have to script and talk and talk and talk. And I just can't work it. I also have a bunch of unreleased footage, even like really old Let's Play, uh, a couple audio logs, the podcast episode, all that sort of stuff I plan to release over the next year. Again, this might, I might come back in a year and change all this, but for now, this is how I see my life in this channel. It's just a place to create. Because I love YouTube. I've been wanting to do it for the past 10 years, which for me was grade school. To finally have to put that down it feels like putting down a part of myself, which I don't think I could ever do. And I don't want to. I am going to be focusing on a vlog and 
that will be the way they get out. I guess just essays. They're not video essays anymore. Yikes. I planned, I guess I'll let it slip. I had this plan for a character called Kaio Lago. He was to be a scholar that I could have take on the persona of within videos to make the content more unique. I plan to still do that, but just in a blog. Because I can I love to write and I can do it consistently without this or my health being at risk. The video game I want to focus on, which I'm super excited for, it's going really well, even though I don't know how to code. I'm also planning to become a freelancer in the next couple of months. Freelance, small games, small articles, just here and there to kind of build a portfolio. We'll see how that goes, but hopefully you'll see me in a couple projects in the background. That'll be really exciting. If you want to keep up with me, Twitter, Instagram, best places to do that. Twitter, I'm always on, always tweeting, always communicating. That is where I'm going to stay, or at least until it all falls apart. I was planning to make a TikTok and change my Instagram into a medieval kind of lifestyle thing. Or fantasy, more focused. I'm really into it, my shirt, everything. It, it's kind of like an escapist thing for me that helps me feel more confident and just myself. So, making a TikTok or something like that should be really fun. Live streams also still may happen from time to time, but we'll see. Relaren, YouTube will always be in my heart. It is what got me through some of the hardest years of my life. And that will always be the case. I love you all for sticking with me or even just popping in every once in a while. That made life amazing. And it meant so much to me. On to another adventure. I hope to see you back the next time we meet. That's why I was so cringy. <laughs> no. But I guess one last time. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe for passion focused content, writer stuff. Yeah. I'll talk to you later. I appreciate you. Stay safe, stay healthy. Bye!